Today I will show you how to create your event. First, log into your account. I've already added our credentials here. Next, we're going to click on login. After you have successfully logged in, we'll go ahead and click on the button that says create event. Here in this form, you will type in all the event details based on your event flyer. The fields typically reflect what you should already have mentioned in your flyer. This is the one that we will be using today. Enter the event name, date, and door time. Here, you are more than welcome to write in the show time or you can leave it blank. For our event, the venue will be the Howard Theater, which you will see listed here. However, in the case that you don't see the venue listed, you can scroll all the way down and click on Create New. In this pop-up form, please write in the exact address for your venue and the name of that venue and then save it so that you can use it for your event. The system already recognizes this venue, so we'll go ahead and select it. For the contact email, use an email address that you actively check so you can review any client questions. Use a contact phone number clients can also use. Make sure to always have age restrictions listed so people can consider this when buying their tickets. Please inform whether you have seating available at your event or if it's standing room only. Now under marketing, select the type of event that you're hosting and what genre of music your event falls in, if applicable. For the event flyer, make sure that it is a one-to-one -one ratio. In other words, it should be an image that looks like a square. For the event description, I recommend writing in any information that will help answer questions about what your event offers and why it's not one to miss. Next, for the YouTube video URL, all you have to do is find a YouTube video that you wish to have presented on your event page, click on share, copy that link, bring it back to this field, and paste it. Under the ticket portion, you will create the type of tickets that you wish to sell online. Begin by clicking on Add Ticket. Enter the ticket type, name, price, max capacity, and a short description. You can also add a specific ticket sales start and end time. That way, if you wish to sell past the door time, you can type in a later time for your ticket sales to end. Our door time is 6 p.m., but we're going to close ticket sales at 7 p.m. instead. To add this ticket type, click on Add Ticket. Repeat this process for VIP and all other ticket types you want to offer. Now you can review your event, make sure all the details are correct, then click on Save and Publish Event. Click on View Event to see what it looks like online. And congratulations, you created your first event.